All right, welcome in for day two of our Thanksgiving journal. And so here we are, November 2nd, November 2nd already. We're just rocking and rolling. Um, I, again, just uh, appreciating how the journey through Proverbs went. I really enjoyed that. It was a great, a great exercise for sure. And definitely got me back into the book of Proverbs where I hadn't been for a while. And man, what a what a great book that is. And now we're jumping into a different verse that has something to do with Thanksgiving every single day of the month of November so that we can cultivate in our hearts a culture of Thanksgiving, an environment, a perspective, an attitude of Thanksgiving. Because we want to make sure that we are training our heart to see the right things because as we learned in Proverbs, whatever whatever you focus your attention on, whatever you look for, um, that's, uh, that is exactly what you're going to generally find. And so we wanna train our hearts to look for the God perspective. And so um, that actually is kind of what we're tying into today here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 15 is our verse, and I'll just read the verse. First off, it says, Indeed, everything is for your benefit, so that as grace extends through more and more people, it may cause thanksgiving to increase to the glory of God, so that as we notice, <laughs> as we notice grace happening through more and more people, it causes thanksgiving to increase to the glory of God. And, and so I was just linking today thanksgiving to the glory of God, that God is honored, God is glorified when we cultivate an attitude, a heart, a perspective, a practice. I think that's a super important part of it, a practice of thanksgiving. And that flows out of us being able to see it and us really training ourselves with a biblical mindset towards towards pain and suffering, towards challenges, towards all different kinds of things because really the world around us trains us to look for different uh, measurements of success. And so if we can get our measurements of success from the Bible, from God's word, then we can we can end up thankful far more often than than if we wait simply for the things that the world says that means you're successful, that means that you have arrived. And so um <clears throat> cuz if you back up a little bit in chapter 4 of 2 Corinthians I'll just read a couple of extra verses. It's like bonus day today. So 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 7, it says, Now we have this treasure in clay jars so that this extraordinary power may be from God and not from us. We are afflicted in every way, but not crushed. We're perplexed, but not in despair. We're persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry the death of Jesus in our body so that the life of Jesus may also be displayed in our body for we who live are always being given over to death for jesus sake so that jesus life may also be displayed in our mortal flesh so then death is at work in us but life is in you but life in you and since we have the same spirit of faith in keeping with what is written i believed Therefore I spoke, we also believe, and therefore we speak. As we grow in our trust and confidence in God, it spurs us to action. And that's that's where that's where cultivating this heart attitude of thanksgiving, it doesn't just benefit other people because they hear and they hear from you what you're thankful for. They hear from you the things that you're seeing God do in your life, even though, and I think Paul did this constantly, where he would talk to people about his chains, about his struggles, and try to remind them that even though it looked bad, God had a significant purpose in mind 
um, he had a significant purpose in mind, even in the midst of deeply challenging circumstances. And so I just want all of us to just be thinking about that today and how you train yourself to cultivate that perspective of thanksgiving so that more and more people may experience grace and cause thanksgiving to increase to the glory of God. Come on, I hope that that encourages you today. And a couple of things, if you can maybe share this video with someone else and invite them along in the Thanksgiving Journal uh, journey with you, that'd be super awesome. Also, you can just like the video and comment, comment in this section of what, like, what are you learning? What are, where are you growing? How is God speaking to you as we go through this journey? And <clears throat> lastly, um, what am I thankful for? I'm really glad you asked. Uh, today, today I'm thankful for my amazing kids. Um, so yesterday I was thankful for my wife, still thankful for her by the way, but uh, today just really thankful for my kids. Man, I have amazing kids that I just, I could not be more proud of who they are becoming and just their love for God, their love for people, and just the way that they live their lives. It's an honor, it's an honor to be their dad, that's for, that's for sure. So I'm super thankful for my family. Um, they are just a humongous blessing in my life. And so, um, so yeah, drop in the comments, what are you thankful for? Drop in the comments, what are you learning from the scriptures that we're reading and going through? And uh, just uh, let me know. I'd love to connect with you over this stuff and, and uh, continue the conversation in more ways. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, it's the easiest way to get access to the videos. So just click on the subscribe button and the like button and it will and turn on that little bell and it'll give you notifications when a new video pops up. So anyways, have an amazing day. God bless you and uh, let's let's keep on growing in our Thanksgiving.